Hey y'all, Nick Palmer right here with PR Equipment in Kearns, Texas. Hey, we uh, were super excited, uh, what, two days ago, we, we got in our very first full truckload of 2020 mowers, 2020 Spartan mowers. Um, so we're finally getting our chance to really get our hands on and dig into these 2020 mowers. There's a lot of really exciting changes. Um, I think we did a couple videos already with some pre-builds that we have. Uh, but we weren't able to kind of get the full grasp on, on, on some of these other models because we just had two of those 2020 models. So what we have here is an RZHD. This is a 2020 model. It, you're probably looking, I mean, a lot of folks, if you know the Spartan lineup, you're probably looking at this thing and saying, that looks like an RT Pro. And, it, it, and that's just it. It, it. They've incorporated a lot of the RT Pro DNA. They've kind of blended it a little bit. And it's funny because Robert Foster at the National Dealer Meeting had suggested that he, he wanted to call it the RT because it kind of was more an RT than it was an RZ anymore, um, which they shot that down. But I can understand why he was thinking that because the more I look at it, the more I realize that there is a lot of RT in this RZ. Uh, the, the good thing about that for us, and I think this is gonna become a very popular model this year for my residential customers. So we've always considered the RZHD to kind of be our premium residential mower. You got, you were still a residential mower, you were still at a pretty affordable price. Um, you know, Spartan has always been known for, for, for having a great price point, but you had a affordable price and, um, you know, with the RZ series, but when you got to the RZ HD, you also had a lot of the, the more, you know, heavy duty features, the more commercial features, the Parker transmissions and things like that, right? So in the bigger tires, you know, which is really cool. I mean, if, if nothing else, they look really cool. Um, but so you, you kind of had a lot of that stuff in the RZHD, so we call it our premium residential mower. This is taking that, just a, kicking it up a notch, right? So I'm just gonna quickly walk around just a handful of things that are, that are really noticeable changes for the RZHD. The first one we'll talk about, and I didn't, is, is like the decals, right? So, so the decals have changed, uh, more color, brighter, but I, at first I didn't really like them, and now I really do. Um, and I think it's gonna be a, a little bit more quality of a sticker, and it, but it just kind of sticks out a little bit more. It's a little bolder. Um, the next one here is the roll bar. We didn't have any roll bars on RZs in uh, 2019. So 2020, we will have a roll bar. This unit is gonna come standard with a solid, a non-folding ROPS. All, you know, you can upgrade that, and all the ones we've ordered, we've ordered with a folding ROPS. I, I think anybody who owns one of these is gonna be a lot happier with that because it gives you the option to fold it down if you wanna store it or fold it down, you got some limbs you need to get under. There's just a lot of reasons. Of course, you wanna use all your safety features, but you know, Anyway, uh, so, so this is the, the folding ROPS. It's, it's a little bit more money, but I think it's worth every penny. So we ordered all of our RZHDs with, with the folding ROPS. Um, but moving forward, I think there's two really exciting changes. I wanna get, I'm saving the best for last, which is about the deck. But the, but the one I wanna talk about, some, to some people, this is probably more exciting. Uh, I'm more of a technical guy, so I think the other is. But, but we, if you notice the seat, right? So you can probably even see over here is the RZ seat. This is what we, that's what we used to have. This is what we got now. So we've upgraded the seat. This is what we had on the RT Pro and still do have on the RT Pro, but now we're integrating that into the RZHD. You also notice these rubber isolators because now we've integrated the, the 360 plate, which here again, used to be an RT Pro and up thing or, or, or an add-on. Now it's gonna be standard. So you got your three rubber isolators and that's gonna allow some side-to-side -side movement of that seat, right? So, so helps with all those kind of side shifting bumps and things like of that nature. So it just adds a layer of comfort, right? So we've got a nicer seat in that 360 suspension. It's really gonna help out a lot. This is a 54 inch deck. And, and so I wanna talk about the deck next. And, and I'm not doing this video to kind of do a full walk around. Um, I just really wanna talk about some of the really exciting things that have changed here. So on the deck, and, and this is really what I'm liking here. So one thing that's changed is, well, first off, the most exciting change is it's gone to a seven gauge deck. So all Spartan mowers now have a seven gauge deck. None of this light deck, heavy deck stuff. So I, I really encourage you to compare that to the competition and see where we measure up. But so this is gonna be a seven gauge deck on, on our RZ series. But what I, I think is the most exciting thing is that we've eliminated a lot of the, the bracketry and hardware that used to be on top of the deck. It wasn't that big a deal, but it's, this is way easier to clean. It looks cleaner and all that. And so there's, there's a lot of real good benefits to having it this way, uh, where it's just less, less stuff on top of the deck, so it's a, a smoother deck. And I'm gonna take this back knob off. I should have had it done already, but I don't. Um, one other thing that changed is, is the, uh, the covers. They're plastic now, right? Which on the RZs, they always were plastic. 
but now they're a higher quality plastic and they changed how they mount. So I've almost got this off. This is my one complaint probably is how long winded these studs are. But if that's my only complaint, I'd say we're doing pretty good. Um, but, so taking off this plastic, it's, it's a much nicer, it's a cleaner cut plastic uh, now. So it's, it's a much nicer cover. But we also, we used to screw these studs in from the side, right? So this was a stud and you'd screw it in from the side, which meant you had extra bracketry here. Once again, just more stuff on top of the deck made it a little harder to clean and things of that nature. So we're really excited to see kind of all that gone. It's, it's just a, almost a completely smooth deck. You know, obviously you got your spindles and things, but it's, it's really, really uh, impressive. So uh, next thing, and th this is talking about performance of the deck, because obviously we've made it very heavy duty. It's going to last a lot longer and, and take more abuse. But, but now we've, uh, we've also got some performance upgrades for the deck. So one thing that you first notice is, is the, the chute is just a little bit shorter. And so they, they, they've narrowed that down and they say that's gonna help with product flow. So we're gonna be able to sh discharge more grass faster. So I really think that's gonna help out quite a bit because if you got into really heavy grass with a longer chute, sometimes it can kind of ball up a little bit. I'm the type of guy who waits too long to mow, uh, usually because we're really busy and I've got a son and we're always playing and stuff. But it, it could, I'd wait too long and it would, maybe you know ball up just a little bit when I was in really really hard or wet grass so they've shortened that up and I think that's going to help a lot obviously the, the, the chute still holds itself up which is kind of and I mean uh, as opposed to a lot of the other um, industry you know folks mower builders a lot of times they don't do that um, the, so one thing that's added and you really can't see it from here we do have another video that talks uh, that actually shows you what it looks like underneath um, but they added baffling. So the baffling, you can hear it right there. They, they've always had the rear baffling. Now they've added the front baffling, which we used to call the turbo baffle. They've added that st standard, right? That's a standard feature now. That's gonna help with more suction. So it's gonna help you get up those little weedier grasses and things that like try to lay down on you. It's gonna get you more suction to help suck that up. The other thing they added was this little deflector here. They call it a wiper. And so what that's supposed to help with is as we're, we're mowing and more mowing, you get in a little heavier grass, this is gonna help kick that grass out. So it's gonna pull that grass out in through this, this shorter discharge chute. It's gonna help us, like just one more feature that's gonna help us with those heavier grasses and things. So I'm really anxious to get one out and try, try it. It's been raining and things, so we'll probably not gonna happen for a little while, but that's gonna be really exciting. Uh, there's really just one more change on the deck to talk about. It's over on this other side. So we've moved the scalping wheel in uh, it comes in about an inch and a half, and so the nice thing about that is if, if you're mowing up alongside maybe the, the house or, or a chain link fence or whatnot, it, and it didn't really cause me any fits, and, but I think it's a really good idea, right? So, so if you're mowing up along there, you know, if you're getting real tight, sometimes if you turn a little bit, you could maybe catch the edge of that scalping wheel, so by moving it in a little bit, you're, you're going to help prevent a lot of that. And, and so you don't notice it, it's not gonna affect performance or whatnot, but in, in the long haul, I, th I think this is a pretty cool deal. So once again, we've got that plastic on the other side, that, that nice, really heavy duty plastic on the other side with the different mounting system. But like I say, I'm just really impressed by how clean that deck is. Um, as always, still have the Parker transmissions, right? Still have those really heavy duty transmissions on this mower. Um, still have the, the real heavy linkage, still have the, the deck knob and the, and the shock assisted foot pedal still have the twin pedal braking system, still have the real easy to, to lift up cover and, and, and easy ease of accessibility to all the things you might need to service or whatnot. So really excited about what the RZHD is gonna be. And I know there's a lot of guys maybe live, watch this video that they're diehard SCAD guys, they're diehard whatever, Xmark, whatever. Um, and, and hey, there's some, uh, there's, there's some great mowers out there, but I really encourage you to at least come check it out. It can't hurt, you know, come out and, and try it and look at it and see, and maybe it's not for you, but I, th this is, we just continue to just raise the bar with these Spartan mowers and it's just really impressive. Um, guys, so like I say, give it a try. Anyway, I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Currens, Texas. Uh, guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like what we're doing. Maybe you've seen some of our other videos and whatnot, we have a lot. We talk about technical stuff. We talk, we, we kind of really dive into these mowers because we're really passionate about them. And we have some other products that we dive into as well. So subscribe to us on, on YouTube. Shoot us a comment if there's something you'd like to see us cover that we haven't already. We're always looking for new ideas and things that you guys might be interested in seeing. Uh, we do our best to oblige. Also check us out on Facebook at PR Equipment LLC. There's a lot more information that we share there. 
And you can also, and you can check out specials and things of that nature. Check us out at PREquipmentSales.com. We'll be working in the next couple days to get all of this inventory loaded up onto our website. Um, and like I said, be, be on the lookout for, for more videos of different models. We'll be doing one for the RZ. We'll be doing, we've got the one here for the RZHD. We'll have the R, RT Pro, RTHD, and we'll just be going over all the changes that are coming up on the whole product lineup. So guys, some really exciting things. They just continue to raise the bar. We love selling the Spartan product. I encourage you guys to check it out. Even if maybe you're, you're, you really like your other brand, I, I really suggest you, you take the time to check them out. I think what you'll see based on price and based on quality, I don't think you can beat it. I think you'll be really impressed. So guys, uh, thanks.